Uh, one of my subscribers, Steven, lives in southern Indiana, which is, I think, zone 6. And he's on the road for 38 to 44 weeks out of the year. He's always wanted the garden, but being away from home so much made that impossible. Somebody introduced him to the back to Eden garden kind of stuff. And now he hopes that he can, you know, garden while he's away. He says the first frost for him usually comes in late November. Is it too late for him to get something in the ground? Um, and says, does that even matter with the wood chips being used for insulation? So, is it too late for him to plant something now? Oh no, I, I planted my place all the way till the first of September. What zone are we in? What's that? What zone are we in? Do you know? I don't even know. Oh, okay. I, I don't even care about zones. I, I just you know do stuff, and if it works fine, if it doesn't, well, do, 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 do that again. But you know, so many of the things I'm doing are things that they say you can't, which is fun. So I always just try to do stuff, you know, and, and just ask around and. and um, you know, like I'm growing wasabi into my tree down there with no irrigation. Wasabi only requires standing water. So I just love doing things to say you can't. And so just try and if it fails, no biggie. Just don't do it again. <laughs> okay. Uh, besides, uh, like, the covering, you know, getting it started, is there anything that he can do to, I don't know, speed up the results so he can get it going now while he's at home? Yeah, just, you know, put, put four inches of witches on the ground. You know, um, water it real good, pull the wood chips back, plant in the soil. As the plants come up and push the wood chips around, and, and if they need any help, then, you know, top dress with fertilizer, blood meal, or, or fish emulsion, and you're good. So the blood meal or fish emulsion? Yeah, will just help, help you know, fertilize. But in most cases, the wood chips will deliver enough you don't need it. Need it. But um, if, you, if you need it, that'll, that would help. Um, let's see here. He says he's research growing potatoes in tires, and a four stack of tires will yield about 25 pounds. How does this compare to planting straight, I guess, in the ground, but we plant on the ground and then cover it with wood chips? Well, it's just easier not moving tires, and tires are very restricted, and I don't know if that, if all the stuff coming off the tires is good for you. I grow such a huge amount on the ground, and it's so easy to get on my knees, and that's something you never have. You can be gone the whole year. And you don't have to, it requires no attention. I show up once a year to plant and harvest September and I'm done the whole year. Never water, don't heal, don't fertilize, and it's just so easy. Potatoes are the easiest thing to grow. That was one of the things I was going to ask because we planted potatoes in three different places uh, just to kind of get a feel for where they're going to like to grow. And on the other side, the shady side of our fence seems like the best spot for them so far. It just seems weird to me, but okay. Well, it's probably wetter there. See, potatoes like water. And so you want to plant potatoes in a wet spot. Potatoes love water, so the wettest, dampest place you have in your yard, that's where to plant them, because and they love water. And then you're saying to um, do the harvesting in September? Yeah, in September Like late when you September, harvest, early? It's, it's, well, the plants will tell you, when they turn yellow, pull them up, pull your potatoes out, take your very best potato, when you got to the bottom of the hole, put that at the bottom, pour the wood chips, add another layer of wood chips on it, and you're good for the year. The thing is totally on its own, it's fine. And that would be great for him because he, I mean, he doesn't need, he only has to show up once a year to do it. And then, I mean, I, I get hundreds of pounds of potatoes out of the ground, you know. And it's on my knees. See, tires are, are you know, when they're above ground, they're going to dry out. So you got to water it. Or if it's the ground with a cover, you don't water it all. So it's just, you know, so much easier. Okay, now going back to the potatoes, when we put them in, we pull back the wood chips, we get to the ground, we put them on top of the ground, whole potatoes. Yeah. Then we cover that with about six inches of wood chips. Eight, eight to ten. Eight be to better. ten. Okay. Yeah, they like good cover. And you see, they really like water. So the more cover you have, they're gonna come through anything. It'll go through a foot. Doesn't matter how much is on top. But the, the more on, more you have, will hold more water, and they love water. Okay. I only have about four inches on top of mine right now, but they haven't, you know, lifted yeah, up. Just, just I mean, that was the thing. They're kind of lifting up the wood chips. I can kind of see where they're at. Yeah. Sure. Yes. And, the, oh. and the wood chips will settle back down, and you can just keep piling wood chips around them, you know, and, and those keep pushing through because they're, they're vigorous. Okay. Um, let's see here. He says that uh, he's lucky enough to live in a city that chips all the branches and then gives them free to anyone who wants them. Wonderful. Should he be concerned with flowers or anything else that might have been chipped with the wood? Not at all. Everything, everything is biodegradable and turns back to dirt, and it's all beneficial. Are there certain plants that grow well with others? I know that like uh, beans or peas grow well with, you know, like corn, three sisters kind of a thing. Are there any other kind of plant combinations that work well together? 
you know, I don't really care because everything grows just really well wherever I plant it and however I plant it, so I just don't even, it's not even a concern. Um, he says that termites are plentiful where he lives. Is there a safe distance that the garden should be placed away from a wooden structure to guard against a home invasion, or is it not that big of a deal? Termites will never disturb your wood chips because they're composting. They only disturb your house because it's out of the, out of the air and it's available. They will never attack um, composting material. Really? It's dry. You know, um, wood ants are never in my you know are never in my garden. They'll attack my house because it's dry wood. They don't go after damp composting material. Oh. I did not know that. He said that the Amish in his area plant certain flowers among their garden for pest control. Do you have any idea what kind of flowers are good for any kind of pest control? Well, I don't have pests because my plants are healthy. The Amish plants are not well, so they got to deal with pests. Once you get healthy plants, you won't have pests. So pests is not an issue. Okay. okay.